Hi, in this particular video, we're being asked to find the exact solutions of this particular equation. Now, the difficulty with this one is that apart from we've got a denominator of x, but also it's a non-calculator, okay? So it might be uh, slightly more difficult to actually work through. But because we're being asked to find the exact solutions, I'm assuming the solutions are going to be in third form. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, please do have a look at some of the other playlists within this particular, uh, or the other videos within this particular playlist. Okay, so my big problem here is going to be this denominator of x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by x. Because if I do that, I'm going to get x times x minus 8 over x equals 4 times x is going to be 4x. Okay, and when I get rid of these brackets, I'm going to have x times x, which is x squared, and then x times minus 8 over x. Well, what happens there is that effectively the two x's cancel themselves out. I'm just going to end up with minus 8 equals 4x. So what we've got now is the formation of uh, effectively a quadratic formula, because if I make this now equal to 0, I should be able to solve it. OK, so let's have a look at that. So if I bring this 4x over towards the left hand side, I've got an x squared minus 4x minus 8 equals 0. OK, so what's going through my mind at the moment is can I solve that by straightforward factorising? In other words, are there two numbers that when I multiply them together make minus 8 and I add them together to make minus 4? Well, th there aren't. OK, unfortunately. So I've got two choices here. I can either use the quadratic formula or I can use completing the square. Now, on this particular one, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, but I will also shoot an additional video with completing the square as a solution. So with this particular one, I'm going to use the quadratic formula. OK. Now, not everybody will do this. Some people will use completing the square, and that's perfectly fine if you prefer. OK, so let's have a look then at x equals minus b plus or minus the root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. OK, and you just need to remember that some exams, it actually gives you it as part of the exam. Um, other, other exams, you just need to learn it. OK, so... I've got my values of A, B and C. A is going to be 1, B is going to be minus 4 and C is going to be minus 8. So I can actually plug that information directly into the formula. So minus B is minus minus 4. OK, so I've got minus minus 4. OK, remember B is going to be minus 4. OK, then plus or minus the square root. And I've got B squared. OK, well, B squared is going to be minus 4 squared. OK, so minus 4 squared minus 4 times A, which is 1, and C, which is going to be minus 8. OK, so I'm going to divide all of that by 2 times 1. OK, so let's just work through that a little bit more. OK, so my first value, I've got minus times minus four. Well, that's going to be plus four. And then I've got plus or minus the root. OK, now this particular area here is called the discriminant. And it's kind of important that you're able to work that out as a positive value. So I've got minus four squared is going to be 16. OK, and then I've got minus four times one is minus four times minus eight is going to be positive 32. OK, so actually the discriminant is going to be 16 plus 32, which is 48. And I'm going to divide that by two. OK, so the thing about 48 is actually I can write that in a slightly different way. What I can do is I can write that as the root of 16 multiplied the root of 3 divided by 2. OK, now if you remember, the root of 16 is 4. OK, so I'm in a position where I can write this now as 4 plus or minus 4 root 3 divided by 2. OK, so we're getting a little bit closer because 
4 is divisible by 2 and 4 there is also divisible by 2. So I've now got two solutions. My first solution is going to be, if I I'll just expand that, I've got 4 over 2 plus or minus 4 root 3 over 2. Okay, so therefore I can expand that to 2 plus or minus 2 root 3. Okay, so I've got my two solutions. I've got x equals 2 plus 2 root 3 and x equals 2 minus 2 root 3. And that would be the solution to this particular formula. So quite tricky to kind of work through. You've got to be very careful um, how you apply the quadratic formula, particularly making sure that the discriminant, that number under here, is going to be positive, otherwise it won't have any roots. Okay, and also spotting that root 48 is the same as saying root 16 times root 3, which is the same as saying 4 root 3. And then finally, dividing both the 4 and also the 4 there by the 2. Remember that if I'm dividing the whole thing by 2, I can split it up into two separate divisions. Okay, so quite a long one, quite a difficult one to work through, but please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I will also post the alternative method of using completing the square in order to solve this, and we should get the same results, or at least I hope we do. Okay, I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.